is up everybody it is cj plays here and i'm back with another sims 4 speed build today we're going to be building a neutral cabin originally this cabin was going to be really bright and colorful but i couldn't really decide on what wallpaper to pick and I re when i was going through i came across the neutral wood paneling from um eco lifestyle and i really liked the way it looked and i was like okay i'm using this instead so we just i changed the whole idea <laughs> but i still think that this build looks really really nice it is a log cabin of course so you could use this to play in you could also use it for a vacation home maybe your sims wants to go to like granite falls or to Glimmerbrook. i don't know you could just you could vacation anywhere in sims 4 now so i think that's pretty cool so you could definitely find a use for this build if you wanted to download it or you could just like like a you know just have sims live there regular <laughs> regularly um this build is two bedrooms one bathroom there is a kitchen and there's a little sitting area and i think it just everything came out really nice it is really cozy i do like how it looks on the inside um it's a bit of a closed off floor plan <laughs> so it's not as wide um or open as some of my other builds but it does look really nice regardless um out in front, you will see later in the video, there is an area for um, roasting and telling campfire stories. Um, I did kind of put some of the um, terrain down in front of the build, but that's more towards the end. Um, there is also going to be some flower, um, some uh, plant boxes, flower boxes that so you can grow like plants and just have your own little garden. There is also a flower arranging table in the backyard. There is a swing set, some monkey bars, and there is a uh, slide for toddlers to use. And I did end up putting some horseshoe um, things in the pack so your sims could um, play that if they wanted to. Um, on the inside, <laughs> the uh, master bedroom, that look, it looks really nice, but it follows, like, the master bedroom and the toddler's room follow, kind of follows a greenish brown color scheme, and I mean, I like it. Um, I think I like the toddler's room the best, probably, out of all the other rooms, because I never really do toddler bedrooms in speed builds. I kind of just go for, like, kid um but this time around i did toddler again if you have a baby like a newborn um the bassinet will just spawn in the house somewhere so you could definitely just keep the baby in there and then when it ages up it has a bedroom that's already done and then of course when the toddler ages up um you could just put like a regular size bed so i think it works out good but um in the master suite there is uh <laughs> um there's a bed i have a dresser and I have a mirror in the corner, so both sims should be able to get into the bed this time around, um, as opposed to my last video, or my last speed build. Um, the kitchen is really nice. I think that um, the color scheme really works. It's more of a darker brown in the kitchen, dark brown and white, and I think it, it came out really, really nice. <laughs> um, the bathroom is going to be very, very cramped. <laughs> Uh, I'd imagine that, you know, since this is an older house, the bathroom hasn't really been, you know, renovated, and it is kind of... Um, a little bit cramped <laughs> i didn't fit a bathtub combo um there is a sink and i guess you know and of course a toilet so you know it's functional but you know not there's not a lot of space in the bathroom <laughs> and it does kind of connect to the kitchen um so yeah there's that <laughs> um but yeah as you can see i'm doing like a little area i didn't want to put uh, originally i wasn't going to really put um i didn't want i was debating on whether or not to put a tv because i was like eh you know, in my mind, it was a vacation house, so I was like, would your Sims really want to watch TV all day? But I was like, well, it could be snowing, or maybe you just don't want to go out that day. So I was like, let's put a TV. <laughs> and then for the computer, I debated on putting, like, the newer computer that you see, or, like, an older one. But I was like, you know what? It is an old cabin, but it maybe it may it has some little renovations here and there over time. <laughs> so I decided to go with the newer computer, and I put some, like, postcards. Because in my mind, I also thought, like, maybe, like, other Sims that live there will just bring, like, a postcard. So, for example, say, like, a Sim was coming from, like, um, Oasis Springs. Um, maybe they brought a postcard from there, and they put it up there. Again, I know the postcards are from The Sims 3, but, like, you know, maybe a Sim from The Sims 3 game. You never know. <laughs> so I think that came out really, really nice. And I don't know. I just had a lot of fun building this, and I really hope that... Um, you have a fun time playing in this. Hopefully you download it. Um, I would probably, would want to watch out for those rugs in front of the fireplace because I'm pretty sure that will cause a fire. <laughs> and I knew that when I placed it, but I was like, no, it just looks nice. Like, I wanted it there. But I would just say keep an eye on it when you're playing in this build because, um, it will probably start a fire. <laughs> um... But yeah, that's pretty much it for this build. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like. Comment something down below. Be sure to follow me on Twitch because I'm having a lot of fun on Twitch. Um, I only started streaming for maybe a month now. And I really, really like it. And it's just a really cool vibe over there. So hopefully you can 
um, check me out over there. Um, please be sure to stick around for screenshots because I have those at the very end of the video. And if anyone has any build suggestions, please feel free to let me know down in the comment section. But that is all I have for this one. And I'll see everyone in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Thank you.